Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Redshift for 3ds Max. It's a massive 13 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Redshift for Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Also be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Finally, let's create a few metal shaders. So create a new Redshift material and assign it to the shader ball. In the second lesson of this section, we talked about metalness and how to create metal shaders. In this case, change the frontal type to metalness. Increase the metalness to 1. Change the diffuse color to this pale yellow with the RGB values of 243, 196, and 91 and reflectivity color to a lighter, less saturated version of the same diffuse color. Immediately let's work on the reflection roughness. Add an RS bitmap node and load this map that is called Metal Roughness. Set the color space to raw. Add an output node after it. And connect the output map to the reflection roughness input. For metal shaders, we normally want to change the BRDF type to GGX. The result is too rough, so in the output node, first I'm going to select both of the points and change their point types to Bezier corner to get a bit more natural curve. Let's make the brighter parts of the texture that cause the roughness to be a bit darker. Maybe around 0.4. I'm also going to select the texture itself and set its scale to 2 and 2. Let's quickly add a bump math node. Set the bump height scale to something very low like around 0.006. Use the original texture as the bump map input. And connect the bump map node to the bump input of the wretch of material. We can copy the noise bump mapping from one of the previous shaders with the bump blender node. and connect the first bump map to the base input of the bump blender. And connect the bump blender to the bump input of the wretch of material. And this is a very quick metal shader. If you want to change the whole feel and look of the shader, simply change the texture that controls both the reflection roughness and bump mapping. Let's create a copper shader as well. Simply duplicate the whole shader and assign it. In the redshift material, change the diffuse color to this light brownish orange with the RGB values of 237, 169, and 116 and a brighter, less saturated version of the same color for the reflectivity color. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.